Hello my dear students, you are watching Teachers Daily. I am Rijitha Sudhir here with you. Today we are going to discuss about what is Pythagoras theorem. Actually we have to start trigonometric ratios but I am not starting trigonometric ratios in today's session. We can start tomorrow's session. Why? Because I am just recalling you what is Pythagoras theorem. So you know that in Pythagoras theorem we have to find what is hypotenuse, what is base, what is height. So first we can check how we can find hypotenuse. We have to understand right first what is hypotenuse, what is base, what is height. Hypotenuse means the longest side of a right angle triangle is called hypotenuse. So that means side opposite to 90 degree is called hypotenuse. So other two sides that are base and height. So here you can see this is the base and height obviously you know that this is the height. So how we can find hypotenuse? Hypotenuse we can find you know that hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of these two sides. So again I will repeat hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of base and height. So what is the formula for hypotenuse? Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of base and height. So we can do our first question. In triangle ABC, right angle at B, AB is given and BC is given. We have to find what is hypotenuse. So we can write what is hypotenuse here? AC square. AC square is equal to what is base here? AB, AB square plus height is BC, BC square. Now we can substitute our values. So what is AB here? 15. So 15 square plus BC is 20. So what is 15 square? 15 into 15 that is 2, 25 and 20 square means 20 into 20 that is 400. So AC square is equal to 225 plus 400 that is 625. So AC is equal to square root of 625 that is 25. I hope you understood very clearly this question. Again, I will repeat. Hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square. So, here it is given base is 15. So, 15 square plus height is 20 meters. So, 20 square. So, 15 square means 15 into 15 that is 225 plus 20 square means 20 into 20 that is 400. So, 225 plus 400 is 625. So, square root of 625 is 25. So, I hope you understood this question very clearly. So, we can do our second question. We can start with our second question. So, this is our triangle ABC, right angle at B. You know that hypotenuse is the side opposite to 90 degree. The remaining two sides are called base and height. So, here they have given AB and BC that are base and height. We have to find our hypotenuse. So, how we can find the hypotenuse? Hypotenuse square is equal to sum of the squares of base and height. So now we can start. What is base square? Base is here AB square. What is height? Height is BC square. So AB square means what is the measurement of AB? 3. So 3 square plus what is the height here? 4. So 4 square. So 3 square is 3 into 3, 9. And 4 square is 4 into 4, 16. So, six, 9 plus 16, 25. So, you got what is hypotenuse here? AC square is equal to 25. So, AC is equal to square root of 25, that is 5. Is it clear? Yeah, so we finished two questions related with hypotenuse. We have finished what is hypotenuse square. So, now we can do what is base. So, you know that this is the base so let's find what is base square here i have already written what hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus height square so ac square is equal to ab square plus bc square so now we can write what is base square base square is equal to hypotenuse square means sum of the squares of other two sides how we can find base square base square for finding base square you have to subtract height square from hypotenuse square suppose for finding base square you have to subtract height square from hypotenuse square similarly for finding height square you have to subtract base square from hypotenuse square so i will write the equation now 
So base square is equal to hypotenuse square minus height square. So what is base square here? AB square is equal to hypotenuse means AC square minus BC square. So I hope you understood. For finding base square and height square, you have to subtract the base square or height square from hypotenuse square. For finding hypotenuse square, you have to add the squares of other two sides. So let's start this question. So here it's given in triangle ABC, right angle at B, AC is given 15 meter and BC is given 12 meter. So I am writing our formula is already here. So we can substitute the value. So we have to find AB square. So what is hypotenuse here? AC square that is given 15 square minus what is the height here? BC. So what is the value of BC? 12 square. So 15 square means 15 into 15 that is 225 minus what is 12 square? 12 into 12 that is 144. So what is the answer you will get? 225 minus 144 is 81. So AB square is equal to 81. AB is equal to square root of 81 that is 9 meter. I hope you understood. For finding hypotenuse square, you have to add the squares. For finding base square or height square, you have to subtract the squares from hypotenuse. So now we can do one more question related with base. This is our second question based on finding base square. So let's start. This is the triangle ABC, right angle at B. There are two sides given that is 5 AC and BC. So this is our second question for finding base square. It has given two sides that are AC and BC. So what are the measurement of AC and BC? AC is 5 meter and BC is 4 meter. So we have to find what is base. So let's see how we can find. So we have already given the formula here just we can substitute the value here. So what is AB is here? So we have to find AB square is equal to AC means 5 square minus BC is the height of this triangle. So what is the height of this triangle? 4. So 4 square. So 5 square is equal to 25 minus 4 square is 16. So AB square is equal to 25 minus 16 that is 9. So AB is equal to square root of 9 that is 3 meter. We finish what is hypotenuse square and what is base square. So our third part is we have to find what is the height square. So what is the formula for finding height square? Height square is equal to we have already discussed for finding height square we have to subtract base square from hypotenuse square. So we can write hypotenuse square minus base square. So let's start with our question. So here AB is equal to 12 meter that is our base and hypotenuse is given 13 meter. So we had to find BC. So height square is equal to what is the height here? BC square is equal to hypotenuse. So that is AC square minus what is base here? AB. So AB squares. So we can substitute our values now. BC square is equal to what is AC here? 13 square minus AB is 12 meter. So 12 square. 13 square means 13 into 13 that is 169 minus 12 square means 12 into 12 that is 144. So BC square is equal to 25. So BC is equal to square root of 25 that is 25 meter. So I hope you understood. So I have given all the formulas here. For finding hypotenuse square, you have to add the sum of squares of base and height. For finding base square, you have to subtract height square from hypotenuse square. For finding height square, you have to subtract base square from hypotenuse square. So I hope you understood all these three formulas very clearly. This is our second question related with finding height square. So it has given AC is 5 meter and AB is 3 meter. We have to find what is BC that is our 
height. So let's see how we can find height square. So here already we wrote height square is equal to hypotenuse square minus base square. BC square is equal to AC square minus AB square. So what is BC here? That is our height. So we can find BC square is equal to what is AC here? 5 square minus AB is 3 square. So, BC square is equal to 5 square means 5 into 5 that is 25 minus 3 square means 3 into 3 that is 9. So, BC square is equal to 25 minus 9 that is 16. So, BC is equal to square root of 16 that is 4 meter. So, we found the value of height 4 meter. So, I hope you understood all these questions based on Pythagoras theorem because Pythagoras theorem is very very important in trigonometry. So, in tomorrow's sessions we can start what is trigonometric ratios. So, I am ending today's session with a set of questions. Please write the answers in the comment box. If you like my videos, please like, share and subscribe.